Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am going to get myself set up on my iPad while you guys are popping in. Hi Ellen, hi Deborah, welcome. I see Deb is coming in here. I gotta get my glasses changed because for whatever reason I can't read the messages with those other ones. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Hi Kathy, hi Bonnie, welcome. Okay, let's see if I can get this rolling really nice and quick. Da -da -da. And is this live? Nope, that's last week. That's last week. Let me see if I can up. There it is. There it is. Yay, I'm getting better. Every day is an improvement. I see Carolyn and Shawnee and Pat and Sonia coming in. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to get my phone plugged in here, too. I was frantically getting ready for this tonight so I could bring you guys some neat projects. I think you're going to really like them. How was your weekend? Hi, Jenny. Thanks for the virtual hugs. And Mary, I see Mary coming in. Welcome. So yeah, I had a super busy weekend this weekend. I was actually out of town and um, we had a demonstrator event in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And yes, that is where the baby clothes Oshkosh Bagash are made. And it is also where Oshkosh Truck makes military trucks. And Diana's asking me if I had fun. We had a blast. I can't even tell you how fun it is to go to a stamping event and get your batteries recharged. So uh, that's exactly what I do every single time I go to something like that. It's getting your batteries recharged. And I also did a business presentation with my one of my besties, Dina. And I had a lot of my wonderful team members there. And I met some new, new demonstrators. And now remember, when I say demonstrator, that's discount shopper. People who have joined our team to um, get a discount and also people have joined so that they can maybe have a business, whatever size that is they're looking for, a big business, a little business. Um, they want to just share the, the discount or make a little bit of money with some friends that come to stamp with them. So I shouldn't say share the discount with friends because that's just not really a good plan. But um, <laughs> I wanna be perfectly clear there. But um, it, it was just a lot of fun. We had such a great time. And um, yeah, I came away. Your head is just spinning with all these new ideas and it's exciting. We had, um, there's a lot of creative demonstrations where other demonstrators or discount shoppers are up in front of us showing how to use product, showing really cool ways that they have learned to use product. And oh, I see Sue saying, sorry for your loss. I'm I'm sorry also, I missed that comment, but I'm sure that it is not a good situation. I'm so sorry. Prayers coming to you. So we had a blast um, in Oshkosh. It was a lot of fun and just what I needed. So I got home today and uh, where was Barb? Diana wants to know. Well, Diana, it's a little hard because Barb is a lot further away than Dina. This is about a four hour drive for Dina, four, four and a half hour drive from Iowa. And for Barb to fly in from Wyoming is a huge, you know, just a huge undertaking because she doesn't live near a large airport. So she has to get to a small airport, transfer into a bigger airport, come here. Um, Milwaukee's about at least an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes away from where we were. So it's just a whole thing. So. Barb wasn't able to come, and we missed her dearly, of course, but um, I was I was grateful for the time that I got to spend with, with other demonstrators and Dina this weekend, and my team members, Jody and Rose and Jane and Julie and Becky, and I got to see Sarah, and um, I was sad that Kathy was sick. She couldn't come. But the event was also available virtually. So for people who weren't comfortable coming to a gathering, um, they could watch it virtually at home and participate from that vantage. So it was really nice. Hi, Sharon Chin. Welcome. And Linda and Marsha. Marsha's in Florida. Marsha, I am totally jealous. You know it. Every time I see you coming in from Florida. 
Uh, Chris says, thank you for the catalogs. You are very welcome. Now, you guys should all have your catalogs by now. And if you don't, we know that the mail has been a big problem, right? It's um, it's worse some places than other. And I've said this before, Michigan is horrible. But if you do not have either the celebration catalog or the, uh, I'm calling it the JJ Mini catalog. Let me get mine open here to the right page. And if you do not have either one of these, or I mean both of them by now, there we go. I see Sarah coming in. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Julie. Hi, Diane. If you do not have this catalog and this brochure by now, please email me. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stamp above.com. And that is if you don't have another demonstrator or you are my customer and you would like these catalogs, I would be happy to mail them out to you. I actually had to call Stampin' Up! this week or last week, I should say, because I blew through um, three cases of catalogs. Hi, Steve. Steve says, hi, honey, from the kitchen. You're so sweet. <laughs> hi, Steve. Yeah, Steve missed me too. He might say he didn't, but he did. Um, Steve had homemade stew ready for me when I got home today, and oh my gosh, he makes the best stew. So I filled up my belly, and I headed to bed. <laughs> And I took a nap and then I got up and I'm all refreshed and ready to go and ready to play with you guys tonight so very very fun is that a mini fridge behind you Heather says no it's not Heather this is my filing cabinet that has all my cardstock in it and this is a three drawer filing cabinet I got it at Ikea and I have to tell you I am very impressed with their filing cabinets they're really good quality the other two drawer one that I used to use is over over there and I beat that up like I open that a hundred times a day and it is still functioning perfectly good the drawers didn't get wonky on me it still looks nice so Ikea for the filing cabinets and I'm, I'm I really like this one so that's what that is behind me okay um what do you make for supper <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie is my stepdaughter. She's on here watching. I see Jane popping in and Cheryl. So first of all, um, I got through all of my mail with my other um, Facebook Lives that I did last week. If you guys happen to miss those, go catch up on them when you get a chance. Um, we made some really fun projects. I think you'll enjoy them. Uh, Friday before I left for my stamping um, event in Oshkosh, I actually made all my swaps and just yacked away with you guys, and that was so fun. I hope you weren't annoyed by it, but um, I made 19 swaps while we were while we were on a Facebook Live, and um, that was a lot of fun. Oh, here's the let me grab it. I've got the card right here. Here's the card that I demonstrated. This one doesn't have the shimmer paint on it because this was the first one that I made. And then I decided to use the shimmer paint. So make sure you go back and watch that because it was really cool. But if you guys recall, I had this laying on my desk face down. And as I was making swaps, I picked it up and I put a card front on the front of here. And yeah, made a mess out of it. So I have to tear this off and put this on a new card base. But you know, things happen. We also have a really pretty little envelope to go with it. I stamped all over the um, flap on the envelope. So that was Friday's Facebook Live using the seashells. Sweet. Very, very pretty. Sue says watching you make your swaps was fun. Well, I'm glad you thought so because it was sure a lot better than sitting here by myself making swaps. It was nice to have you guys with me. And I told all kinds of stories about cars and why I have a Ford and all kinds of crazy things. Found out lots of other people had a Mustang for their first car. So that was kind of fun. I only have a couple pieces of mail um, to show you because I got through all the mail on Friday. This one comes to me from Linda Bosch. And Linda, this is adorable. And it says believe. I know this is backwards, but if I mirror my screen so it's not backwards while I'm face to face with you, the sound starts getting wonky. Oh, Tanya says she needed this so bad tonight. She's had a rough week. I'm really sorry, but I'm really glad that you're here. I know. Stamping is just really great therapy, right? It's great therapy. Honey, you go watch the Steelers. Good luck to the Steelers and the Steeler fans. The Packers are on a bye this week, 
so we did not have football today. I don't know if the Bears won or lost. When I saw the score, they were behind. So, And my Anna and her family are big Bears fans, even though they live in Wisconsin. Anna's a Packer fan, but her husband and daughter are Bears fans. So we have all kinds of football going on. So this was from Belinda Bosch. It says Believe. It's got those cute little sunglasses on it. I love this card. And the inside says, the first says, the front says Believe, and the inside says, In a Brighter Tomorrow. And how appropriate is that for right now, right? Believe in a Brighter Tomorrow. And I do. Um, things have got to get better. And she says, Happy New Year 2021. May 2021 be happy, healthy, safe, and another year of success. Thank you so much. That was just so sweet of you. I'm going to set that right up here. And then the other piece of mail is not a card, but it was from Cheryl McGowan. Cheryl is turning in her um, Technique Club reward sheet. And she is looking forward to getting the ice cream stamp set and punch as her reward for being in my technique club. Oh, Sandy says the Bears lost. Sorry, Bears fan. Really sorry. Somebody has to win and somebody has to lose, right? Darn. <laughs> Thanks, Marsha. Okay. I am going to do prizes. So um, last Friday when I jumped on here, what is going on with my hair? <laughs> I know you know these guys don't care, but I'm looking at it. It's very distracting. Um, last Friday, I, I forgot to do a drawing for a prize winner from the Thursday Facebook Live. So I promised I would do that. And let's see. Here it is. We have these resin hearts and embellishments. These are perfect for this time of year. And as a matter of fact, you can use hearts anytime on cards. They don't have to be used just during Valentine's Day or Valentine's time frame. Um, Mary Lynn Cox, you are my big winner. I'm so glad you could watch and that you won these. I will be getting these out in the mail to you tomorrow. This week I have a team meeting on Tuesday. That's always fun. We do that via Zoom. So I have team members all over the United States. And I know Hawaii is part of the United States, but it's a long ways away from the mainland. So I always like to say, and Hawaii. And um, we have a really good time. We do some demonstrations. Um, we do recognition. Lots of door prizes. If, if my team members watch the meeting live, meaning on Zoom or on Facebook, I broadcast it to Facebook, they get entered in the door prize drawings. I usually give away somewhere between 15 and 20 door prizes every team meeting, which is once a month. So lots of fun there. Um, next up, we have for commenting on last week's Facebook Live, I have this adorable small bloom punch, just a nice little small flower. I also have some of the Poppy Parade textured weave ribbon that I'm going to send along with that. And this is going out to Penny Freeman for commenting from last week Sunday. And Penny, I don't have your address, I don't think. I didn't look it up in my um, account, but I don't think I have your address. So if you could please give me your address, pop me an email, kelly at estampabove.com, and I would be happy to um, get this right in the mail to you right away. Hi, Lori Fink. I saw you just pop in here too. Is Haley on here? I haven't seen her yet. She usually watches too. Also, for sharing my video, and if you guys can click that share button right now and share this video, it's something that you have the ability to do while you're watching. That really helps me grow my business because you never know who in your friends list would like to watch, would like to join in, maybe would like to start stamping, or they're a stamper or a scrapbooker and they go, hey, this is fun, right? That's always helpful. I have these sequins for everything. Now, this is a big packet. Let me get this out and show this to you, of sequins. I just happen to have one of these left over. I bought these for door prizes from our holiday mini catalog. I have one more left over, and that is going out to Bonnie Kelly for sharing the video. So thank you very much, Bonnie, and congratulations. Last but not least, for placing an order, there's always a drawing for that too. 
and I have this press on stamp set. This was a kit class. I think I, I want to say that I still have a couple of these left. Uh, or maybe I don't. I don't know. But anyways, it would be on my blog if I do. Darn it, I want to run in my closet and look right now, but I'm not going to. If you go to my blog in the right hand column is online classes. When you kick on, click on that, it'll take you in there and show you everything that's still available. This might be a kit that I still have a few left. This is the press on stamp set. Fabulous stamp set. You can use this for coffee or cocoa and it's just a nice all around all occasion stamp set. Going out to Carla Walters from Boone, Iowa. So congratulations, Carla. She won this in the drawing for placing an order with me in the last week. So how are you guys liking all the goodies in the JJ mini catalog? Are you loving it? I know that all weekend that's what we concentrated on and it was so fun to see so many different things. Um... Also at these events, like the event that I went to, are display stampers. And those are stampers that are um, invited. They are actually usually requested by the host of the event to make a huge display using a suite of products. And we had the ice cream suite. We had the, um, the seashell suite. We had the love you always suite. Um, all the suites were on display and just a ton of ideas with them. So those are some things that I'll be sharing with you over the course of this mini catalog. I have piles and piles of swap cards over here, you guys. I was a swap maniac. I, I'm telling you, I'm never doing it again. I really over um, extended myself in the swapping arena because I was ready to poke my eyes out by the time I got my last one done on Friday. <laughs> but I have so many beautiful things to share with you over the course of this mini catalog. So that's why I swap, is to get really great ideas and to have lots of ideas to share with you. Tanya, Tanya says she loves this catalog. I do too. There's so many things in it. And just when I think there's something in there that it's like, well, I don't know if I need to have that or not. I see a bunch of projects and I have to have it, right? So that's how it goes. Um, wanted to let you know, I do not have a John update. I actually ran downstairs, Steve is in the kitchen, and I said, hey, you got any John updates? What's happening with him? And he said, nope, nothing. So pretty boring this week. I don't know, we need to get John doing something interesting, right? <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, um, I think I have three projects if we have time for them. If we don't have time for the last one, I will carry it over to next week probably. But um, three projects to share with you tonight and I'm looking at them right now to decide what I want to do. And I have some swap cards to share with you using the products that I'm using for these three projects. So that should be really fun. You'll have lots of good ideas. And I think the first one that I'm going to do is a Valentine card and it's actually a Galentine card. Now, when I first, let me get to the stamp set. Oh, let me just pull it out right here. Well, it's gonna be backwards. I'm gonna turn my camera around because that way you'll be able to see it not backwards. So, um, I bought this fancy software so that I wouldn't have to tell you to close your eyes if you get motion sickness while I turn my camera around, but um, I haven't figured out how to use it yet, so I'm going to be working with a couple of my team members that use it, and they're going to help me figure it out so that I can use that. But for tonight, we're still going to close our eyes if you get motion sickness, so I don't want anybody throwing up. <laughs> There's no throwing up in stamping. And we're going to turn this camera around and start stamping. So hang tight. Pray that I don't hit the wrong button and disconnect you all. If I do, please come back to me. Let me get my cords out of the way. I got things twisted and turned and all over the place. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to put this light down here and see if that is going to be good. Put this over here. Whoops. Hang on. I've got lights and I need to stick some little... I use a dauber to stick in this light to keep it upright. So it's pretty funny actually. There we go. <laughs> oh, the things we do to make the things work, right? Okay, I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit. 
There we go. I think that's good. I think we're I think we're in business now. So uh, here is the stamp set that I'm going to use for my first card. Now, this stamp set, the card is a great classic layout, and you don't have to make a Valentine card with this layout. I think it'll be beneficial for everyone. But one of the things that I thought was really interesting is when I first got the stamp set and I started using it, I made a swap card with it for one of my many swaps that I signed up for. The first thing that I noticed is I'm like, what is this? Happy, they spelled it wrong. They spelled it with a G. What the heck is that? So I commented to somebody and they're like, no, that's a thing. Happy Galentine's Day. So I looked it up. According to the Urban Dictionary, Galentine's Day is celebrated on February 13th, the day before that other made-up holiday, <clears throat> Valentine's Day. It's a day for celebrating the love you have for your lady friends, whether they are single or not. And I thought, well, how cool is that? So, because I know I've gotten comments in classes before that, um, um, well, I don't have anybody to send Valentine cards to. You can send Valentine cards to everybody. I send Valentine cards to my mom, to my friends, to my girls, to my husband, um, to my sister-in-law. It's just a way to have a reason to send a card to tell people that you're, you care about them, you're thinking about them, and they're important to you, right? It's not about who you're in love with all the time. So... Um, Heather says February 14th is her birthday. She's a Valentine girl. Good for you. That's fun, right? Okay, so that's what um, Galentine's Day is all about. So I thought that was very interesting because I was sure they spelled it wrong. It was a, a mistake, right? <laughs> yeah. So we are going to be using this stamp set. I'm also going to be using the... Love You Always Specialty Designer Series Paper and the Love You Always Foil Sheets. These are beautiful. Now we've got some other papers on here. We've got the Hydrangea Hill um, Mercury Glass Designer Acetate, the Pearlescent Specialty Paper. I showed you guys that on Friday when I was making my shell cards. And also the Golden Garden Designer Series or Designer Ac Specialty Acetate in Gold. These are very, very pretty specialty papers. So this is the one that we're going to be using on this card. I'm going to set that back here, and we're going to start getting out all of our pieces. Now, we are on, let's see, I wrote down the page because that always makes me stumble a little bit when I'm searching through here. Here's the page in the JJ Mini Catalog on page 14 is the Hearts and Kisses and the Kiss punch. This punch is so cute. And I, when I saw the lips, it's like must have. I need, I love a lips for Valentine's. I love lips to even just seal the back of an envelope. Um, these are super, super cute. And you can get this together with the stamp set. When you buy them together, you use this item code and you'll get a 10% discount. If you just need the punch, it is available to order separately, or you can just order the stamp set. And the other cool thing about this stamp set is it uses our distinctive um, images for the rubber. And that means that the lips and the lipstick look real, which I love that style of stamping. Oh, that's got a really big glare. Sorry, you guys. Um, so we're going to be using this. And I'm going to just unload all my parts here. And I've got a bunch of other cards to share with you using this bundle. So I think you're going to just love the ideas that I have to share with you. Okay, I've got Rococo Rose Ink. I've also got my Wink of Stella. And I see this Wink of Stella is brand new. I am going to pop. When you get a Wink of Stella, it has this black band in here. You need to take this off and remove that and throw it away. You don't need it anymore. It's just on there for shipping purposes, okay? So get rid of that little band. Get that ready to roll here. I've got my little cheat sheet with my measurements on it because I always like to share those with you guys. And you know that you can get all the measurements and still photos and all the detailed shopping lists, the ink colors that I use, all the things you can get on my blog. It takes me a little while to upload them when I'm done with my Facebook Live, so you have to be a little patient. 
but um, those are all on my blog and my blog address is right here. And that brings me to my host code. If you do place an order with me, I really appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business and pays my bills. Um, if your order is under $150, you're going to use this code. It says host code and you just click on that and then type in the blank this code. You can always find that on the right side of my blog, the current code. And if your order is over $150, do not use this code. Stampin' Up! is going to give you rewards and I definitely want you to have those rewards. But if your order is under $150, you don't get any rewards and I stack these rewards up so I can give away prizes. So. First up here, we've got a card base of R Rococo Rose. That is one of the coordinating colors with the Designer Series paper. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And yeah, and Mary says, I send at least 15 this year. It'll be more because people are lonely sitting at home locked in their houses due to the pandemic, right? This is the best time to be sending out additional cards. And any occasion is a good occasion to send out a card. This is um, gray granite, right? No, Sahara sand. I always get those two mixed up. This is Sahara sand. This is four by five and a quarter. Then I've got some scraps of vanilla and some scraps of Rococo rose. And then I've got three strips of that beautiful designer series paper. And these are all one by five. And then I've got a quarter inch of the Love You Always foil in the Rococo Rose. So this is the paper Love You Always Specialty. This is the Love You Always foil sheets. Okay, let's get busy here. First thing we're gonna do, oh, in a scrap, oh, sorry, I'm not done here. Uh, vanilla, very vanilla, four by five and a quarter. I've got a very vanilla envelope. I always like to stamp up with an envelope and we have vanilla envelopes. So I always, I buy vanilla and I buy Whisper White, right? Or basic white now. I've got a bigger scrap of vanilla here and a scrap of the foil. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take one of the um, layering oval dies and we are going to die cut it on the vanilla. I've already done that here. We're also going to take the coordinating scallop that's just a tiny bit bigger and I am going to die cut that on the Rococo Rose foil and we're gonna be layering this and look at how pretty that is, right? Oh, can't wait. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping right now. Let's move this stuff out of the way. This is a piercing mat. I like to use this to stamp on. I've simply wrapped some printer paper around it and taped it on there with the tape that Debbie gave me. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> no more Amish tape, folks. That's over. Yeah, I won't make that mistake again. Here's my Rococo ink, and I am going to take my Happy Galentine's Day stamp. Oh, hang on. This turned into this. So we're going to just set that aside. We're going to use our oval. Our happy Valentine's Day. And I'm going to stand up so I can get this right in the center. Very nice. And then we've got this swoosh of color. Now this is really fun to use with the lipstick because you can stamp the lipstick on a card and then have it like drawing. So that's kind of cool. But what we're going to do with it is I don't know if I want to stamp off once. I'm going to try it on the back first because I can't remember. I made these a long time ago. Yep, I'm going to stamp off once. This is a little darker than I want. I don't want it to take over my sentiment. So I'm going to stamp off once. And then we're going to... I'm going to turn this over and stamp it this way. I'm weird. It doesn't really matter. Look at how cute that is, right? Okay, we've got that done. We can go ahead and add this right to our foil. And there's just a tiny little border, that little scallop border that peeks out from under here. Let's see if I can get this straight. Winning! And I'm going to grab some dimensionals. And we're going to... Oh, we don't use dimensionals on this one yet. Okay. Then, 
I'm gonna take the scraps, these are just little vanilla scraps and the cute little lips, and I'm going to stamp me some lips. There we go. We're gonna take these and punch them out in our kiss punch. Cute, right? And then we've got the scrap of Rococo Rose. And I'm going to, I need some hearts. I need just a couple hearts here. So we've got the lips here too, but I'm not gonna use those. I'm just gonna use some Rococo hearts. And then we're gonna take our Wink of Stella and we're gonna color the hearts. Now this is just gonna add a little glitz. Whoops, <laughs> this is a brand new Wink of Stella. So you wanna shake it up. What will that glue hold on the foil? Yes, it will. It will hold on the foil. Now, if you don't like to use glue on foil, you can use mini glue dots. You can use our stamp and seal tape runner. But yes, it will hold. And now you're gonna squeeze on the little lines that say push. Do you see the Wink of Stella coming down into the barrel? And you don't want to do this over your card, okay? If I had my card sitting here because I've had it, where it, yep, see, it's actually coming out right there. And I don't want that to make a mess on my card. And guess what Kelly does not have is some tissue in here. I gotta get a box of Kleenex in here. So I'm just gonna wipe that off so it doesn't make a mess. And now I'm gonna get my wink started. There it is. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit. You don't usually have to do this too much after you get this rolling, okay? Just so you know that. And now we're gonna take and put some Wink of Stella on these hearts. Now if you wanted to, remember the technique that I did on Friday with the um, shimmer paint and alcohol in a spritzer? You could take your scrap and you could spray it with the shimmer paint and let it dry and then you can um, punch it out. Okay, so we're just going to set those aside. I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of my lips. Oops. There we go. Well, let's see if I can get it in the middle. First day on the job, apparently. Huh? <laughs> okay, next up, we are going to add our strips of designer series paper for there right down here at the bottom oh don't lose our hearts okay here we go so I've got this one and I'm going to now how do you know where to place these I get a lot of people saying how do you get that straight how do you get that to even out well I'm looking over here and over here and if I have the right borders over here and over here, then it's going to be the same up here. I want to make sure I'm keeping it the same on all three sides. The next one I'm going to do, because sometimes this is tricky, putting three things on like this to get them spaced out properly, right? Then I see Susan said she's so glad that she saw me prep the new Wink of Stella because she's due for a new one and she would have never figured out the black band. Just so you guys know, the, um, and I know we don't read instructions, but there are instructions on the Wink of Stella packaging that tell you to take that black band out. So if you were to run into problems and couldn't make it work, you might read, right? Maybe. You might. <laughs> I might go, huh. And now this one is going to be right in the center. Now we have some really big spaces between this. If you wanted to tighten these up, you could make each one of these a little bigger, but I wanted them to look just like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my Galentine's greeting and I'm gonna put that right in the middle here over to the right. Just like that. I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of my hearts because dimensionals just make everything better, don't they? I love dimensionals. I love that little popped up look. If you're not using dimensionals enough, get them out. Make them work for you. I just think they're they're just charming, actually. Here comes one glimmery heart. Here comes another little glimmery heart. This is a very simple card. 
Then we've got our lips. I'm gonna bring our lips right in here. You could put some Wink of Stella on the lips if you wanted to, but I chose not to. Then the other thing that I wanted to do is we've got the Snail Mail Twine Combo Pack. It comes with Whisper White and Blushing Bride. Donna says, can you punch the lips out without stamping first? I wanna see what the lips look like without stamping. Yes, I just tossed them in the trash. Here, let's do that. You can punch out the lips without stamping them, and they look just like that. That's a great question. Whoops. Okay, so I've got my, I'm gonna use the um, Blushing Bride Twine, and I'm just going to take this and tie it in a little bow. Oops, let's see if I can do this. Good Lord, Kelly. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to um, manipulate these little tiny things, right? I can't quite get a hold of it. And I've probably had enough caffeine today to kill a horse, so then it makes me just a little bit shaky. That's what makes me shaky. And I, my dad was very shaky, like it was a thing. And his hands shook crazy like. So I think I have just a little bit of that too, is the little... Yeah, so nothing wrong with me. I'm feeling fine. I know that when I came back from COVID, um, I didn't realize it, but you guys told me afterwards that my hands were shaking a lot on my first day back after being sick, and I didn't even realize that, but it was kind of interesting because you guys picked up on it. Okay, there we go. Here comes our little bow. I'm gonna stick that with a mini glue dot right on there. Here's the front of our card. I'm going to put this on our card base the right way. Not like I did last Friday, right? <laughs> that was a oopsie moment. Here this comes. Oh, and I just thought of something else to do, you guys. Oh, this is going to be just fantastic. Um, let's see. I am going to, where are my, hang on. I'm looking, there they are. I've got my Rococo Rose blends and I'm going to bring in some rhinestones because this is a glitzy little card. Oops, I'm going to grab my other end. I'm going to color my rhinestones with a Stampin' Blend. Now you can't color rhinestones with a regular marker. It has to be an alcohol marker because it, it won't, the color won't stay on, but with the alcohol it will. They're special. So I think I'll do one right there. And how about one right there? And one right over here. Ah, isn't that pretty? Okay, now we have to do something with the inside. And I cut this little foil piece to go on the inside layer. I thought that would just look really, really glitzy, right? And this is very vanilla again. So what are we gonna do with it? I was thinking, I want to be able to write whatever I want in here, and I've already put my sentiment on the front. So, did I bring in another? Hmm. Let me find my gray granite ink pad. I've got it right here. This is gray granite. It's a very pale. And I was thinking maybe the hug, the um, XOXO hugs and kisses. Let's see how dark that is. That's not very dark. So I'm just gonna kind of put this all over the inside. I can write right over this, right? And that's kind of the look that I'm going for is something that I can just write over the whole thing. Very random. Let's do one more up here, cute. And Press On was in the holiday mini catalog. Yes, it was, and it did not carry over. I do think that I have a couple of the stamp sets left to go with the kit. So if you guys want to get that kit from me, um, pop me an email and ask me, Kelly, do you have any press on stamp sets left? Because you can definitely do that. Okay, look how pretty that is. Let me close this up. And again, this is a classic layout, three strips of designer series paper on a layer, and then you can do whatever else you want to it. It doesn't have to be like a Valentine card, right? But it's a good layout for any type of card. Ooh, I love it. Here we go. 
Isn't that pretty? It's not over yet. We have an envelope to decorate. Let me grab a piece of paper. And I'm going to do something here on. I'm going to get my Rococo Rose out again. And I think I'm just going to do these cute little hearts. And these are like watercolor image hearts. I wonder if Jackie Blurch noticed that I'm wearing her beautiful bracelet. I wore it all weekend and I got so many compliments on it. So I thank you for that. So um, thoughtful. And maybe one more right here. Okay. And then I was thinking, we've got this stamp that says sealed with a kiss. How about if we do that on the front? Stand up to see if I can get this straight. Let me see if the stamp is straight first. I always like to test it out a little bit, get a feel for it, because I got my label on here pretty crooked. Not going to lie. That looks good. And then maybe I'll do the lips. A little bit off center, or off, a little bit crooked. What do you think of that? Isn't that cute, you guys? Yay! Love this. Now, this is the original card that I made, and the only difference between this one and this one is, of course, the rhinestones. I added those. And this is our, um, is it copper? I believe it's the copper foil. The copper is in this, it, it looks kind of copper in that rose paper at the top. Great card, easy layout. You could do anything on here. You could do flowers, you, you know, anything else would work just fine. Okay, do you guys want to see some more samples using the Hearts and Kisses stamp set? Let me kind of put some of the stuff away first because otherwise I get too much junk out here and I feel like a mess. You guys, do you guys do that? Huh. <laughs> I know you do. Okay, we're going to put some of these away. So here's this. And then with all the swapping that I've been doing, just pulled out several. Oh, I just, wait, I just lost a rhinestone here. Let's get that back over here. A little bugger. Put this over here. Here comes, look at this. This is that, um, this is felt paper or um, velvet paper. Look at how cute that is. And this is velvet paper. This is made by Jenna Roby. She was in a swap that I was in, and it looks like a little shirt, right? Super cute. Then I have this beauty by my good friend Lori Kraus. Isn't that cute? And she actually stamped on the lips with stays on ink. Regular ink is not going to dry on the foil, but stays on will. And isn't that just adorable? Super cute. Then we have this one. This is by, oh, I, ooh, I, it fell off. Um, I think this was by Lorraine Duran. I'm not sure because I lost the little piece of paper that was in it. Dang it. But um, this is a nice, a cute fun fold. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Sealed with a kiss. Very cute. Super simple. She used the heart punch pack that we have with the lips. And I think this is um, Magenta Madness. Then we have this one. And this is made by Angie Liner. And I got this in a swap. This uses the little heart charms. And that beautiful ribbon that I used on, hang on, let me grab this. On my shell card on Friday. Same ribbon. And then look at the inside. How cute is that? She stamped the lipstick in gray and then punched one of the foil hearts to go inside and put that on a dimensional. Very, very cool. Last but not least, I have to say, I think this is my favorite. This is also by my friend Lori Krause, and I just thought this was so adorable. I think this is stamped in um, Rich Razzleberry, and then we've got black for the hugs and kisses, the X's and the O's. 
We've got Blushing Bride for this um, swishy background stamp in there. And also some Rococo Rose for the little hearts that I put on my envelope flap. That image. And the lipstick she cut out. And then she put a little wink of Stella on the lips and just this part of the lipstick. So like it's got a glimmer. And look at what she did on the inside. The strip of paper and the hugs and kisses symbol. Wendy says she thought I was not going live tonight. Oh, no, I was going live. <laughs> I always was going live, Wendy. Sorry about that if you um, something was misunderstood. Okay, I'm going to put this. Ooh, whose was this? This was this was Angie's. I, I like to be able to say who made these cards if I still have the things on the back, right? So there we go. We have this one. I'll keep that right over here so we can recap at the end. Now... I thought as long as I was making a Galentine card that we needed a little treat box. And it just so happens that at the event I was at this weekend, we got a little treat box. And that's what I love about going to events is you get all kinds of fun ideas, right? So I'm going to bring in, oh, I forgot what this is called. This is the double oval punch thinger. Let me look it up, you guys. I hate to do that to you. It's like, what was that called? And you did get one of those, and then you don't know. Um, right here. The double oval punch. I was up really close. So there you go. Um, this is shown on page 65 in the catalog. And this goes with a stamp set as a bundle. And I do have the stamp set. This is the one. It's the oval occasions. These all go with this um, double oval punch and you've got a scalloped and it's not really scallops it's kind of a wavy outside line and then a smaller one that layers on top but if you buy these two together the punch and the stamp set here is the um, set together you save 10% okay next we are going to bring in oh my gosh you guys are gonna love these and I was so excited about these these are the Love You Always treat boxes. They are safe for food. And hang on, where'd my little cheat sheet go? Here we go. I have all my information that I couldn't possibly keep in my memory, which you know is pretty short. <laughs> um, you get 10 of these boxes for $9. They're shown on page 11 in the mini catalog. You may have missed them. They're right here. And they're like match box boxes because this slides out and pushes back in. But here's what I love about them. They are super um, sturdy. They're not flimsy at all. So when you take, you're gonna take, you know, open this up, take one of these out and one of these. And what you're gonna have is this and this. So let me show you how these work. I um, fold it on all the score lines. You want to fold on all the score lines before you try to assemble. And I've already done that because I wanted to make sure I didn't come on here and look like a buffoon. <laughs> Which sometimes I do and that's okay, right? But what you do with this is you're going to pull the these tabs in. Okay, I'm going to push this back so you can see what's going on. Push this back. You pull the tabs in on the sides. And then you're going to, let's see, I want to do the sides first. And when you, when you are folding on the score lines, these tabs get folded backwards, as well as the little tabs, well, the little tab here, here, and here. You fold them backwards. So we're going to pull up the side tabs just like this. We're going to bring in these sides and push them right in there just like that. Okay. And these aren't going to stay there, so you got to kind of have lots of fingers, but these are pretty easy to put together. Next, you're going to push this one down, and now that's going to help your sides stay in. So do you see what's going on in there? And this last one goes backwards, okay? This part right here is actually the side here, and then there's a little tab in there you can see, and that pushes into a little slot right there, and there is your little box. Super easy. Now, if you wanted to, you could stamp this box up before you put it together. 
What I would recommend instead is using designer paper to decorate it. And the reason why I say that is this has somewhat of a coating on it. I think that if you tried to stamp it, it might be slippery. Even if it's not slippery, if you messed up, now you've got a whole box with a messed up stamp on it, right? Whereas if you, you could stamp some Whisper or some basic white cardstock, you could stamp on that and cut it to go on the sides, the back, the whatever, inside. So that you don't have, I, I just envision myself stamping the outside of the box and getting something goofed up and then I'm like, ugh, right? So if you want to stamp on paper and cut it to fit, that would be a good idea. This part right here is actually the sleeve that goes over the box, okay? So then this is just going to slide right on here, just like that. And this is sturdy, you guys. This is not flimsy in any way, shape, or form. And the reason why you can be reassured of that is because all the layers that folded over each other, this isn't just one thing. Yeah, Wendy says it's the same as a banker, banker's box. And yes, I put many banker's boxes together in my office career, right? Okay, so what I decided to do, I'm going to kind of um, use the idea that I got at the stamping event this weekend. I'm going to bring in some of those little heart charms. Don't let me forget to use them because these are super, super cute. They're very thin and low profile. They don't weigh anything, which makes them nice for mailing, right? I always love it when we have embellishments like that. I've got my Blushing Bride ink pad. I've got a piece, a scrap of Very Vanilla and a scrap of Rococo Rose. And I'm also going to show you the box that I got at the event that I went to. Okay, so here was my idea. I'm going to take the um, designer series paper, and again, this is the Love You Always Specialty Designer series paper. And so I want this box to match the card that I made. I'm going to take this, I'm going to have, now here's the seam for the box, so I'm going to make that kind of be the bottom. I don't want to see that from the top, I want it on the bottom, so I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to take this paper. This is four by nine and a half inches. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. And now I'm pinching this. You could measure this and figure it all out and um, score it. But, oh my lord, this is so much easier. And if there's an easier way to do something, I always like to show you that way, okay? So we've got that one. Now I'm going to put it back on here. I'm going to pinch it again. And now I'm going to bring it here so I know that I'm folding it straight. Keep this edge even. Here we go with the next one. Oh, that looks a little crooked. Hang on. I want to get around to the other side and have this be crooked. So here we go. We got that and that going on. Now we're going to do this one. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And then the last one. Oh my goodness, Amy Todd just said, if you color the heart embellishment with dark daffodil delight blends, it looks gold. That is a very cool tip, Amy. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. So I've got it all folded up. I'm going to use tear and tape because I don't want this to come off. And maybe. <laughs> I'm going to take a piece of tear and tape that is as long as my designer paper here. Ooh, that's just about perfect. I got it spilling over the end just a tiny bit, so let me trim that off. Okay, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this before I take the backing off, okay? And again, I'm looking for that seam. I want that to be on the bottom. I don't know, I'm really weird about that. <laughs> you may be going, oh my Lord, what difference does it make? But well, to me it matters. And this is my box. <laughs> you know how that is. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop this off of here. Oops, there we go. And I'm gonna keep it nice and snug and make sure that it's centered because I have a little bit of that, the edge showing on this. So I wanna make sure it's centered. You could cut yours just a smidge 
bigger than four inches, but this is what I'm doing. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Ah! I know. So there we go. Now put this on here and then how am I going to decorate my box? Well, I wanted to keep it simple. Okay. So what I decided to do was take my Rococo Rose. I am going to punch out one of these wavy ovals. And then I'm going to grab my vanilla and where did, here's my Rococo Rose. Oh my good Lord, I'm getting hungry. What did you guys have for supper tonight? I need to go eat some more of Steve's stew. My stomach is growling. Isn't that just the sweetest? I just want to kiss it. Um, I'm going to punch that out. This was very vanilla scrap, by the way, in Rococo Rose ink. I'm going to punch out that lips, and then I'm also, whoops, I'm going to grab my other punch here, my oval, my double oval. I'm going to punch out a vanilla oval. I'm going to layer these two together, and here we go. Then I thought I'd grab a dimensional and put that on the back of my stamped lips. And we're going to put that right on here. Oh, we could put some wink on it. That would be good, right? Add a little wink to give it a little glimmer. I kind of tip it up in the light and make sure that I, oh, I missed some down here. We want to get our lipstick on properly so we look like a proper lady. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> okay, then um, I've got my twine here. Now I don't want to use white because I'm using vanilla and I guess you could but it seemed a little weird to me. So what I decided to do here is I haven't figured it out yet but we're going to do it together. Let's see. I wanted to kind of go around like this with a double. Um, I've got my, my twine is doubled here and then maybe come up here and do a little bow. Okay, but I want to incorporate one of these little buggers and I'm trying to think how am I going to do that what if we take one and you can tie this on here any darn way you want but I haven't done it yet I haven't made this box yet we're doing it together for the very first time so we're like we're like new box virgins <laughs> okay my seam is in the back Okay, so I'm going to kind of maybe do this and do this. And oh, that looks kind of cute, doesn't it? Okay, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie this maybe in a knot right here. And then we can maybe adjust it. We'll see. We'll see if this is the dumbest idea I've ever had in my life. No, I've had way dumber ideas than anything this could turn out to be. <laughs> Tie this in a knot. But anyways, whatever you do, put some ribbon or some twine on it. I really like this snail mail twine and it matches, right? And oh look, it's gonna do that, which is exactly what I wanted it to do, is that little heart right there. And then here's my lips. And I think I'm gonna come in and actually add my lips with some dimensionals to my box. So let's put one over here. And one over here. At my um, event this weekend, there was um, another Kelly there demonstrating some creative ideas. And she was using, she wasn't using her take your pick tool to pick those off. And I just wanted to go up there and do it for her. <laughs> she did well. She did very well with her very pretty fingernails. But it was kind of cute because I like I, I'm like oh I can come up there and I can do that real quick for you. <gasps> Look how cute that is, you guys! What do you think? Oh, and Wendy says she just ordered the boxes. Wendy is one of my newest team members. Wendy, I'm so excited that you joined. Okay, cutie patootie. Here's our matching card and our matching little box. And if you wanted to, you guys, you could cut some designer paper and put it on. Cutting some and just putting it in the bottom here because that's pretty fancy, right? That would be very fancy. 
But what are you going to put in these boxes? Well, you could put anything. Now, this weekend at the event that I went to, Christine put in our little box our lanyard for our name tags and some Lindor truffles. And that was in there with the, with the, um, the lanyard for our name tag. But look at how pretty this is. This is the True Love Specialty Designer Series paper and some of the ribbon. This ribbon right here, it's the other side of it. Isn't that pretty? I think, right? Yep. <laughs> the other side of that ribbon wrapped around here twice. And then she's got a little charm over here and some of the black um, dots that are also in the mini catalog. So super cute, right? These are a must-have. I highly recommend. Okay, so Andrea's asking, how many boxes come in a package? That's a great question, Andrea. There are 10 boxes in a package for $9. They're on page 11 of the Mini JJ catalog, and that's the Spring Mini catalog. I'm calling it the Mini JJ because it's the Mini January through June. So um, 10 boxes, $9. These are really, really nice. Okay, you guys, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock. Do you want me to do one more card, or should I call it a night? Are you guys getting tired? <laughs> Kathy says she ate a bag of the conversation hearts because I used them last week. Yeah, I know how that is. I completely get that, Kathy, and they were delightful, weren't they? <laughs> Hershey's Kisses would be perfect with the lips on the on the bottom. Is that what you're saying? That would be really cute too, right? Yep. Yeah, and Lisa says it's a good deal for 10 boxes. It really is, and these are really nice boxes and they're food safe. So you could put any type of food in here and not have to worry about whatever, toxins, or I always say you gotta wipe the china off of it. Everything seems to come from China. And um, yeah, maybe that's not very nice. Maybe I should stop saying that. But when Val gets new toys, you know, Toys, crafts, they're made in China. And I always say, she's licking the China off of them. <laughs> Maybe that's not nice. But it is funny. <laughs> Go eat dinner, Diana says. Go eat dinner. Diana, you're so sweet. Tanya wants another card. Deborah says, go for it. Gilmore says, one more, please. Kathy wants one more. I think we're getting a lot more votes for one more and somebody who doesn't want me to gnaw my arm off. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'll grab my last card. I don't think it's a real time-consuming card, but it is super cute. Let me move this out of the way. It's still got ink on it. I don't want to get, make a mess out of that. Okay, this card is, of course, using the Darling Donkeys. This is a free celebration set. When you place a $50 order, you get that set for free. And let me move these out of the way. Um, something that's really nice about, well, this, I have a whole bunch of samples to show you using this set too, so don't go anyplace. Also, if the Darling Donkeys isn't your, to your liking, it's okay. This is a great layout card, like it's a really fun layout. You're gonna, you can use it for any kind of a card you want. Okay, so here comes the blends, because of course I'm gonna color my donkey. And, whoops, memento ink. I'm also using these stitch nested label dies on this card. Let me put this away. Bring out my cheat sheet. This was also one of my swap cards. And I think it's so adorable. I think you guys are going to love it. Okay, so first up, I'll give you the dimensions. We have basic black. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. Oh, Susan says that her donkey set's coming tomorrow. You're gonna love it. This is Flirty Flamingo. This is four by five and a quarter. Linda spent the weekend playing with the darling donkeys. You gotta love a good ass, right? Did I say that? We can say it. We're talking about donkeys. That's the proper name for a donkey, right? <laughs> I always like the fun play on words. Um, then we've got Petal Pink and Basic Black Scraps. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, oh, and Designer Series Paper. So 
This is the celebration paper. So when you put in a hundred dollar order, you can choose the darling donkeys and the beautiful paper. And this is called Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. And that's where this is coming from, you guys. You've seen this. Or if you're new to me, maybe you haven't. But this is outstanding, gorgeous paper. It's floral on one side, and then it's got just patterns on the other side. Oh, I think I used up all of that kind. Here's another. Let me see what I got in here so I can show it all to you. Oh, and then the other side of this one looks like that. So I've used that all up in this package. $50 order, you get a whole pack of this for free. So, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our paper trimmer. We need to do just a little bit of scoring. Let me move some more things out of the way before things go crashing. Because y'all know how that happens, right? <laughs> okay. We're going to do a little bit of scoring here. You might want to turn your trimmer the right way so you can perhaps read it. Now, these two pieces of designer series paper are four by three. I've got two of them here. And you're going to score on the longer edge. And what I like to say is I'm putting it in here to score on the short side. This is the short side. And I'm going to score at one inch. Now, when you're scoring with designer series paper, you don't want to push as hard as you do with cardstock because you'll tear your paper when you fold it. So I'm giving light pressure there. And let's see if I even got anything happening. No, I didn't do it enough. <laughs> Not feather light. A little bit more pressure. Okay, here we go. Now I have a score line. So I'm going to fold that. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this one. Short side against here, score at one inch. Let's see if I got a score line in there. Nope, not really. Batting a thousand here. Oh, for the love. I don't have a lot of patience when I have to redo things a million times. Okay, now I gave it enough pressure. Okay, so we're going to fold that just like that, okay? All right. We're going to set these aside for a minute while we do some stamping. And I am going to take my jacket off because I'm having a hot flash now because the scoring sent me over the edge. No, I'm just kidding when I say that, you guys. <laughs> no, um, Denise, I am not left-handed. But it seems like I do start having hot flashes when things just don't go right. It's very weird. And then I get them randomly when everything's fine. Hi, Jackie Unger. But I wanted to show this to you guys. Um, as I was a business presenter this weekend at the stamping event, this was my special badge. Anybody who was doing um, creative pre presentations or business presentations, we got one of these. And isn't that pretty? This is made with this designer series paper. Where did it go? that we're using and it matched my outfit yesterday and today so very very pretty and I see I got hair stuck in it too so but yeah really really pretty there was so many things at Stampin' Up! events are well thought out and the gifts are always well thought out um, yeah Cindy the somebody must ask what size with the DSP it's four by three and remember, you'll find all of the dimensions for all the projects I'm making tonight. You'll find still photos, inside, outside. You will find a complete shopping list. And when I say that shopping list, um, that also tells you what color inks I used, what color blends I used, what color cardstock. So it's an ingredient list as well as a shopping list because when you click on it on my blog, it'll take you right to my online store. So this is my blog address right here in case you need that. What are you guys drinking? You know what I have. It's my regular old <laughs> strawberry lemonade. Yes, Mary says she loves the tag. It is really pretty. But, you know, and that's what we always, you know, we got gifts at this thing. Everybody got gifts. It was just such a well put together event. Okay, we are going to take our um, petal, whoops, let me think about this for a second. Okay, our petal pink, and we are going to die cut it in this nested shape. We're gonna take our black square, this is petal pink, black, and we're gonna do the next size up. Okay, so we're gonna do some layering with this. And I already have those done. So I'm just gonna set these aside and 
These are the nested shapes. If you don't have these, these are really nice. This is a line, so you can just do a line of dots on your layer too. Nest stitched, nested label dies. Okay, I'm gonna take the donkey with the rose. This is Memento ink. <laughs> Elaine, drinking wine, I love it, Elaine. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stamp this right in this layer. Oh, my tail didn't turn out very good. I'm going to turn it over and try again. Hang on. I'm going to stand up, too. I don't want to re-die cut this, right? Yay. Okay. Now, whew, I'm hot. And yes, Mary Lynn is going to ask if I have my portable fan. I found it today, Mary Lynn. So, don't worry. <laughs> we're all good. Okay. Now we're going to do a little coloring here. And where's my other got one. Oh, here it is. It's still in my bin. I've got crumb cake, light and dark. And I'm going to do the dark. I always like to do my dark first. And I'm going to do that around the outside of my donkey. And maybe his little hairs here. This is the donkey's mane. I know this because I used to be into horses. And... Never had a donkey, but there was somebody on here when I was talking about the donkeys um, recently that had a miniature donkey, I think they said, and that would be fun. They're so stinking adorable, aren't they? I'm just going to get the coloring done here. And I'm going to do this little tail a little bit over here. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in my light crumb cake and I'm going to, hang on, I'm going to use my other end. There we go. Blend that a little bit so you don't have that definite edge there. I'm going to leave his ears petal pink. I'm not going to do anything to those. I've got dark granny apple green for the stem on the rose. I'm also going to leave his muzzle petal pink. There we go. And I need a red. Hang on a second. I'm going to go with a dark poppy. Oh, I yeah, I'm going to go with dark poppy. That'll work my rose and I'm using the gray light smoky slate for the hooves and you could make them black if you wanted to but I wanted to keep the definition there right okay there's our little guy I'm going to embellish him a little bit with a piece of the this is the playful pets black and white twine and I'm just going to tie another little bow da -da -da. A little tip about using twine, if you hold on to your loops while you're pulling the strings to make it the size that you want, it won't twist up on you. That always makes me crazy. I don't like it when it twists up like that. I think I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. Hang on. A little bit smaller bow. There we go. Okay, and I can cut it when we're done here. Mini glue dot. I'm going to roll it up a little bit because I don't want it sticking out from under my twine bow. There we go. And I'm going to trim it. Just a little bit shorter. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to mount this on our black layer. And you do have to put something behind this because otherwise it's pretty ugly because the marker comes through. I can get this centered. There we go. Okay, so that centers on there really nicely. Now I'm going to take this flirty flamingo layer, which was four by five and a quarter. I'm going to stamp my sentiment on there. I'm going to put that right here. See if I can get it straight. Oh, that looks pretty good. 
And where did our, here's our paper. Okay, so we've got this black layer, our flirty flamingo layer, and this guy, right? Now, this was our three by four scored at one on the long side or whatever, right there, <laughs> however you wanna say it. Now, we're going to take the sides, here's our, here's our one inch tab, we're gonna take these sides down and we are going to make them meet up with that score line, okay? So this meets up with that score line, just like that. Here's my phone folder. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Make this line up with your score line. Just like that. Okay, and it's still, you gotta make sure it's still folding okay, so watch that. Just like this, okay? So we make kind of like a little sail. We're gonna do the same thing to this one. We're going to bring this. Maybe if you hold it up like this, it'll be easier. You can get it right up to that folded edge and then it doesn't go over it because that interferes with the folding of what we're gonna do next, okay? Super simple, this is very easy. Don't get, don't get like, oh my Lord, I can't do that. Ain't got no respect for that. <laughs> I know, I'm pretty stringent that way. It's like, no, you can try it. If you don't like it, it's okay. <laughs> okay, here we go, just like this. So we have two little sailboats, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're gonna glue these to the back of our flirty flamingo layer. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it just like that. Make sure it's centered over the back just like this. And we're gonna do the same thing down here. Are you guys with me so far? You know what I'm doing? This is really cool. Marilyn says he looks like a Missouri mule. He does look like a Missouri mule. Okay, here we go. All right, now we're gonna take this and we are going to add it to our black base. Now one thing, I'm gonna pull this up real quick because I can see that this is sticking over the edge just a little bit because I, I didn't center it very good. So I'm gonna trim that off before I let my card be done, okay? Because that'll make me crazy. I'm a little picky like that. If you wanna know how picky I am, ask my assistant, my helper. She gets really frustrated with me. Whoops, hang on. I'm not getting this on crooked. Or I am getting it on crooked. So let's do this. Okay, now we're in business. Yeah, she gets a little frustrated with me, a little frazzled because I'm very, very picky. And here we go, okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put it right in the center. And so I'm gonna put my thumb right here so I know where to put my glue. Or you could use tear and tape. Probably a good idea to use tear and tape. But I'm gonna center this right on my little flap of designer paper. Oh, who's asking about liking my page? How do you get notifications, I'll bet you is your question. Yes, if you click on like my page, it should give you notifications. <gasps> How cute is that? Now, what I would recommend is that you glue these down. I forgot about that part because I was so excited show you this fun fold. And you can do this with any stamp set, any designer series paper pretty much, right? Some glue in here, some glue in there, glue that down, yay! Isn't that cute? Thank you guys so much for the hearts! Now, I would definitely put some designer paper on the flap of an envelope, but we're, you know, we're over time quite a bit. I only like to usually stay on for about an hour or so. Remember, Donkey Set is free with a $50 order. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be thrilled.
thrilled to be your demonstrator. If you need catalogs, pop me an email at kelly at a stamp I'd be happy to send them to you. You guys remember this little card that I made, right? I'll get this out of here too. So we've got this baby. And this was the card that I made last week. Super cute. This is that True Love designer series paper. And Calypso Coral is the orange color. Ornate Garden Ribbon. Here comes a real cutie. This is by Jen Digman. I got this this weekend at our event. Look at how cute this is. Isn't that adorable? You guys wanna learn how to make that? I think we should do something like that. It's a fun fold. And again, I've heard from people who adore the donkeys. I've heard from people that don't like the donkeys. It doesn't matter that we're using the donkeys. This could be any image stamped here, right? This could be any image stamped here. It's you got to look beyond the stamp set if you don't care for it at the rest of the picture. See the trees for the forest? Is that how they say it? Or see the forest for the trees? I don't know, but you know the saying. Cutie patootie. Okay, let me put this back on here so I don't, so I know who made that. Here's another one I got this weekend. Linda Zaleski. Look at how cute this is. Another fun fold. Woohoo, hee haw, happy birthday. This is the Oso oh Ombre free designer series paper with a $50 order. This is the um, Rococo Rose pattern. And she also put it here. So I like that finished look, right? That was really neat. And use some label dies in here to do that. Very, very cute. We have another one using the Oso oh Ombre free with a $50 order. Look at how cute this is. This is Christine's card. Adorable. Um, hang on. Ooh, I'm going to show you that one last. This is from my friend Lori. Designer paper. This is a free celebration paper. It's the same paper that I used on here. Cute, cute. Granny apple green base. Then we have this one. Oh, uh, oh, here we go. This is by my friend Susie Wood. How cute is that? Hey there, friend. I love what she did with the plaid paper here. And then I saved this one for last because it is really quite spectacular. This is by Diane Rongi or Rong. And this looks like a barn. So she's used the wood grain here. She just took whites of strips of white paper to make these little barn doors. This is called a double Dutch layout. Look at how cute that is. It's like a little barn. These are um, soft suede donkeys. She just stamped them and cut them out. And then this is scored. So this looks like, well, it looks like a little roof. Okay, isn't that sweet? Somebody asked, what is this designer series paper? I don't remember, so let me see if I can figure it out. Oh, she glued really good. Like, I think this is, mm, la, 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 la. it's in our big catalog, I think. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it is. Let me look quick. I can tell you. Then I gotta go eat <laughs> before I gnaw arm off. <laughs> you have three grandsons, Diane says. They'll love the donkeys. They will love them. Oh, it's not. Who knows what paper this is? I recognize it, but I can't place it. I thought it was. I thought it was in this pack right here, but it's not. Let's look in here. Let's get our little mini catalog. Oh, the strawberry paper, Kathy says. It's in the strawberry paper. Oh, that's right here. So the strawberry paper is right here and it requires, you get a stamp set. Oh yeah, look at it, it's that pattern right there. You get a stamp set and you get the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper with a $100 order, you get both of these. And also, this one over here, this is a 17 stamp set you get for a 
free with a hundred dollar order also now don't forget celebration only lasts until the end of february you guys it usually used to go to march but now it's only till the end of february and um we're gonna be having again i don't know in june or july i don't i don't know the exact details for that i'm i don't need to worry about that at this point but um when you join Stampin' Up! during celebration, you get five packs of 6x6 designer series paper in our new patterns. Oh, and I wonder if Chris kept mine. I took mine to the event this weekend. I'll bet she did. Um, you get five packs of the designer series paper free with your kit. Your kit is a, a $99 in free shipping. You get to choose $125 worth of product. You get all of this paper free automatically. You're going to get a paper pumpkin kit. Um, this paper is worth $65. So the whole kit is going to be worth over $200, I believe. $65, $75, $85. If you put in the free shipping. And you get it for $99. And it's completely customizable. You get whatever you want. Um, as long as you can buy it. You cannot add celebration sets to your kit order. Because those have to be earned with um, regular orders, okay? And you're already getting free paper. You're not going to get more free stuff. That's double dipping or triple dipping, actually. But um, once you do order your kit for $99, you can then place orders on your own and get a t minimum 20% discount. The more you do with Stampin' Up!, the more you buy whatever, whether you're going to sell it or just get a discount on it, makes no difference. But the more you do, the bigger your discount. I, for example, get a 38% discount on everything I buy because I sell Stampin' Up! And it's based on how much you sell, but it's also based on how much you buy. So there's some people that buy a lot. Not going to lie. <laughs> and I love you just as much as the people who don't, but... Um, celebration is the best time to join my team and being a part of something bigger is fantastic. I know I've got a lot of my team members um, on here tonight and I think they'll agree that being on my team is a lot of fun. Somebody just asked, what is the name of the Berry paper? It's called Berry Delightful Designer Series Paper. It's on page 14 of the Celebration brochure. It's very, very pretty. It matches up with the Berry Blessing stamp set. Okay, so you get these together. You can't get just one, you get them both. But it also coordinates with the strawberry set that's in this catalog. So let me find that for you. Let's see, there is, no, let me find it, let me find it. Um, it's called Strawberry Something. It's really, really cute. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Does anybody know what page it's on? Oh, Lisa said Kelly is an amazing leader. She loves being on my team. Betty says you are you have the you have the best team ever. Thank you so much, Betty. I really appreciate it. I love my team and I love my job, and I guess it really shows through because I just thoroughly enjoy everything about this. So I'm looking for this, where the heck is the straw? Right here, page 44, you guys. So let me show that to you. Page 44, you can find both of these catalogs, the brochure and the catalog on in my online store. Look at how cute that is, right? It has a strawberry builder punch, absolutely adorable. And this kind of coordinates together, right? We've got all this berry stuff and then some more berry stuff and a stamp set and it's really fun. So you can order a hundred dollars worth out of this catalog or our big catalog. It doesn't matter where you order it from. And then you can get this whole thing for free right here or whatever you would like in here, of course. So lots of fun tonight, you guys. I am so glad you could join me. Thank you so much. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Click on that like button. That really helps me out in the Facebook analytics. Also, click on that share button. That helps me grow my business, and I certainly appreciate that. And, of course, orders. I always appreciate your orders. Um, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be thrilled to earn your business and take very good care of you. So please know that. All right. If anybody has any questions, please pop me an email, kelly at estampabuff.com. Linda says, Kelly is the best of the classes for the last. Yeah.
Right? Okay. Bye-bye.